everybody, this is Pop Potsy, and this is the video that people were waiting for. Um, they've been asking a wee bit about um, World Edit, which has become a very largely used tool for Minecraft Pocket Edition, finally. It originated on the PC version. Um, the plugin is for external servers only. It does not work with Mojang Realms. But if you've got a server from poppotsy.com, rather hosting.pots.com, the subdomain, or another external server, plugins, the World Edit plugin specifically, is what we're going to be looking at today. So as you can see, I'm on a random world of mine, um, just a random server world. It's an external server. And I want to show you and teach you a little bit about the plugin World Edit. So, of course, the first thing you do, if you do slash slash help, two slashes, and type that in, it shows you the commands. Of course, you've all noticed that there's been a problem with the chat, so it gets cut off and things. But that's not really the point. So, um, what we're going to do is show you basic commands. If you do slash slash wand, for example, um, it's going to say you have the wand item because I'm in creative mode. So, generally, though, if you're in survival mode, that will give you the wand. The wand for your magic tricks is right here. It's the hoe. That's the that's the wand. So you're gonna have. I'm, I'm gonna use my crosshair today, especially for this video, to make it simple and show you guys kind of how it works. I'm gonna show you some basic, basic um, things about it. If you want more things afterward, you can comment in the section. I'll, I'll probably make another one. This is gonna be a quick video showing the basic um, stuff with it, basically the, the commands and things. So slash slash wand, but just not all of it. So generally though, if you're not in creative mode, that's usually when I do this kind of things like fly and everything. I would use the hoe as the magic wand. Now, this tool can be used for so many things, it's, it's kind of hard to um, pin them all. So, I'll show you an example. Um, let's say I have, hmm, I've got, let's see, what's the stone bricks? All right, so let's say I have a bunch of stone bricks here, okay? Now, in the middle of these stone bricks, we're just gonna break a couple of these random, and we're gonna put the uh, stone here. No, no, stone's not gonna be useful. We'll put bricks, okay? All right, so there's some bricks. Now, let's say I want to, let's say this obviously is not practical for this specific situation, but let's say you had a situation where you just wanted to remove one block in a huge section. You know, you got this big castle, maybe you want to change all of these blocks to one thing. Now, if you break a block, look at that. First position set to that block. That's the first position, all right? Now, that was breaking. If I tap on this block, my second position, and since they're corners, all these blocks here, this entire chunk, of blocks. This block all the way over here, all of these are selected currently with my magic wand. Of course after you do that you have to get your wand back because it, it sucks it in. It's kind of weird. So don't touch anything with the wand now. You've got the selection already. Now what you do is you do well you do what you want to do. So let's say I want to change the um, stone bricks to be um, grass let's say okay. So I do slash slash replace. Now replace is, is it's kind of self-explanatory but it replaces one block type with another. So if I do replace stone underscore bricks with grass. All right, nine blocks just change into grass. So all those blocks are now grass. So obviously you can do that with all blocks, gold. Now you may come into something where you say, oh, you know, the command doesn't work, it, it doesn't exist. Let's, let's find a, a good example of that. Um, let's pick um, nether reactor, okay? If you want to change these alternate nether reactors calls, it's got three spaces. You have to use underscore with the spaces. Now, uh, the selection is still it's still it's still there. Okay. So now, if I if I do slash slash replace grass in that section with air, for example, all those blocks will turn into air, which are now gone. Okay. Now, if I wanted to replace slash slash replace air with um I don't know what what's what's something we could use um dirt. I don't I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Just all those blocks will be placed with dirt. Now, if I want to take all the blocks all together in whatever region I'm in, this entire selection, I want it all gone, and they're both different types. Slash slash cut is your best friend. It will cut the entire section out. Now it's gone. So the entire thing is gone. So this is how people build things really big, really quickly. So I'll show you an example of that. Let's say I have stone bricks. I want to build a really big stone brick house. I'll show you how to do it quickly. Of course, you'll have to do details on your own. I'm just going to show you the basic commands to get it started. Let's say I want that block, and I want it to be, you know, over to here, and I want the, the, the big building to be, uh, where is it? I don't know what that is. Um, up here, really tall, you know? I want it to be like that tall. Okay, so get your one magic wand, and break one corner block, and make sure you go to the bottom one corner, right here. All right? Now what I do is I slash slash 
replace air with uh, stone underscore bricks. Now, if you try stone brick, you'll notice that it will not work. Okay, and it's, it's generating no shots. Um, because, look, if you, if you look at the stone brick that I just selected, it's stone bricks. That's what it's called. So if you aren't sure what something is, you can click on it on your hotbar, and it'll show you the exact name and the spaces you replace with an underscore. Okay? All right. So it's pretty simple. Um, now, of course, this is not an ideal home because it's absolutely full of stone bricks forever deep. Okay? So you don't want to deal with it like this, of course. So what you do is you select in the inside corner because you want the outside to stay, right? So I just selected this block. Now you do is you go to the opposite corner and you essentially break this block down to the very bottom. But of course, you could just go like this and break it in like that and select that block. Just tap it. Now if you do slash slash cut, it will cut that entire inside sector out. It's just going to take a second to actually work. It's a lot of blocks. It's doing thousands at once. Boom. Now you've got this really big building, um, completely however you want. So, you know, the tool works quite well for things. Uh, block of coat. I don't want that. Um, let's say I wanted my floor to be completely glowstone, because I think it's cool. I'm going to hit this grass block. I'm going to go to this corner over here and tap that block as well. And then I will type, wait, not that button, um, slash slash replace again to replace grass with glowstone. Boom. I am now walking on glowstone. And yes, this works when people are online. It's all live. You can do whatever you want. And there's even things like generating spheres. I'm not going to go in that today. I'm not going to go in that today because um, it takes much too much time. I just wanted to make this a short video telling you some basic controls. And that's pretty much it. And also, if you don't want to use the wand, you can just do slash slash pose one for position one. Or you can use the wand, as you can see, it will do essentially the same thing. Boom. Now, of course, it's going to be a slightly different thing right there. So, there you go. That's it, everybody. I hope this video helps you. And again, if you have a Popfoxy server, you can go into the control panel and automatically install World Edit for you. Um, the, the commands are not default given because they don't want people to have them unless they want them. So, um, thanks, everybody. Uh, give it a like if it helps you out. And I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video.